at home. <coughs> How's it the doors there? I hope you are welcome to another video. Look at this stuff. Not all about. Today I'm lathering up some hags. This is a haggis shave today and today I'm using my um, um, Phantom Blue Aerolite PAA, nice brush. It's a little bit of a, a knot, 26mm, I usually go for 24 but it's okay. But today, star of the day, uh, is a um, soap and splash with from Hags. This is Oblivion. I've got the the pot right here, just uh, it's wet as you can probably tell, so I'm just storing it upside down. You've got Oblivion right there. Uh, this is the vegan uh, formula which I prefer uh, from Hags, and this one is scented off uh, Dior Sauvage, I do believe. Um, if you don't know what Dior Sauvage smells like, um, a bright um, modern take on a, a citrusy orange kind of scent. Uh, it's, it's quite nice, yeah, cologne, it smells like uh, orangey, citrusy cologne, if you want to go down that route. Um, yeah, Oblivion, uh, like the artwork, and as you can see, the uh, fantastic, lovely creamy stuff, um, likes its water. So don't be afraid to add water to this, because the more water you add, the more it goes, like this. Uh, in my razor today, I have a uh, Perma Sharp from Gillette, a brand new. So, I hope you're doing okay, having some uh, nice shaves, enjoying your uh, weekends and uh, enjoying your new products because I know you've bought some, you naughty lot. So, without further ado, let's go on with my first pass. Okay, first pass with the Perma Sharp and the Hags uh, Oblivion. I need to adjust my mirror a little bit, there we go, that's better. And that is lovely and slick. Nice, um, nice sh and sharp blades these. Um, so if you've got some sort of mild or mild to medium razor, you need a little bit more uh, of a sharp blade and these are good to go, they're not like sort of feather sharp or anything like that, but they are a step up uh, and they're pretty smooth as well, to be honest. Recently just bought them, um, I've got a few, this is my last pack of them, and then I went and bought another 20 packs. Um, Adrian Jagger got them in stock and uh, I went and bought another 20 packs, because um, now eBay aren't selling um, Razor blades anymore. Uh, you got to look at the vendors and that. And these are like 150, 160, 170, somewhere around there a pack. So they're pretty cheap. And generally a blade will last me a week. Yeah, I mean I shave every day, so it's not that the blades aren't going to struggle uh, too too much every day. Um, So I can go easily sort of five shaves, maybe one and a half blades a week on average, maybe. So when you get five in a pack for 170, so you can't grumble, can you? But like this, this soap is a um, beautiful scent to it. I prefer this scent to the actual Dior Sauvage. Dior Sauvage, you've got this sort of, um, it's like, um, sort of metallic, very synthetic metallic edge to it. This, just a nice orangey cologne. Is what I wish the yours of ours actually smelt like. Just take that sort of synthetic, sharp metallic edge out of Sauvage, and that's what this smells like. And it's better. And I will say, um, this particular one 
I've got a couple of hags, uh, and this particular one is quite strong in its end. Um, this says intensity is two off max for his um, scent strength, and I would actually say that's about right. It's sort of a seven to eight out of ten. And scent strength, have a good, a good seven at least. fresh citrusy garden smell more on the orange than anything yeah, like a mandarin orange almost it's not quite as dark as say um, uh, blood orange but it's more like a mandarin like a fresh air orange it's beautiful stuff so first pass brilliant a little easier to get off the skin uh, than some let's say you got um uh, a PAA or Phoenix Lights and Accoutrements. Uh, there's is a little bit harder to get off the skin when you're trying to wash it off. That takes a good sort of six splashes of water to get it off. This one, probably two or three, uh, which is fine. It's still got the slickness, very good slickness on it. So, real nice scent. Um, definitely one if you like citrus, especially orange. Mm. When it comes to all the salts I've got, it comes to scent and performance, this is one of the better ones. Um, one I'll definitely um, rebuy or get a couple of uh, books of uh, before they're all gone. You never know when these artisans will just give up and, get, and go out of business. So, on to my second and final pass. Uh, second and final pass. So I've finished sort of looking for a razor for me. And the razor for me obviously is the one, this one. Uh, metaphor handle. Might sort of get a few more of the colours, but. Um, and the Adrian Jagger head. Uh, I think that overall, uh, this combination for me is for me. Now, occasionally, I might use another one if it's something like in a Pacific type of shave. Uh, something that actually, if I'm either a brand or colour or something, for the most part, I'm just going to be using this razor. Because the combination just suits me, I see it perfectly, and I love the look of it as well. Looks a good razor. And you can't beat an edge and jug ahead. It just uh, just works for the most part, no matter what blade you put on it. It's going to perform pretty much the same. Which is always a, a good thing because if you're struggling to get your favourite blade for some reason, stick some else in it, it's just going to work just as good. And the handle is more obviously a style thing that I like. I like this, it looks like a fat boy sort of handle to it, which I really enjoy. Um, so, as soon as I see you can get these handles separate with all these bits separate and stuff, but you know what? Different head with this handle, perfect. I've been watching a fair few videos as well. Get some ideas. Been looking into some of the uh, artisan shops for some soaps and things like that. Because for me, it's more about the soaps and maybe some uh, maybe a new brush or something. But um, for the most part, I've done with 
uh, looking for razors and that I found the, the combination that suits me. Um, Maybe I'll order from PAA again. Uh, they've got their, while well, recording this, they've got their um, Green Irish Tweed, it's just called Tweed um, version on that. soaps and this one especially is one of my favourites when it comes to the smell, it's absolutely lovely, I like citrus smell, so, oh god, this plant is going to get, when they're going to get some grain here, but everything else, so with that, <coughs> excuse me, going to take out whatever's left in the brush, there's always enough for a nice face wash and uh, oh, okay. that stuff. Beautiful stuff from Hags. Lovely scent. Oh. So, I'll rub this in, have a nice face wash, and then I'll come back for my potion. Great. Great shave. Not hydrated, but not dry either. So, just, just normal. Nice. Nothing. Didn't hydrate the skin that much, but didn't dry it out either. So here we have Oblivion. After shave and splash, I believe this is the uh, uh, um, non-alcohol version. No, this is the alcohol version. Um, <coughs> I wanted to try. I got well. I got, now I got two hags, uh, and I wanted to try one alcohol, one other alcohol. This is the alcohol version. This one, the other one I've got um, is a non-alcohol. Um, but this, of course, you can imagine, just smell like Jules of Arge. It's, it's very, very watery, and it's like it's, it's hard, hard to see, it's like a pale colour. Certainly not um, water. water. But next to no sting. Oh. Oh, that smells lovely. Well, it feels good on the skin as well. I do believe it's got more than just alcohol in it. Uh, like it's more than alcohol and fragrance. It's like a proper aftershave. Um alcohol water, I love your uh, leaf juice, um Virginia leaf extract. Calendula, uh, fragrance oils, blah blah, um, uh, vitamin E, oat protein, glycerol. So it's, it's got some decent things in there. Ooh, very nice. So, quickly you run through again what I have used today. Of course, it is a Hags Oblivion shave, but my razor today, Perma Sharp. And a blade in there, really got very really nice. Uh, Blue Phantom Aerolite brush, 26mm. This one, uh, so it's a bit big for what I like, I like about 24 or sort of between 20 and 24. Uh, but it's a nice handle and that all the same, and it's a good, it's a good looking brush, let's be honest. Hanks, star of the show today. Hanks, Oblivion with. A uh, even better smelling than uh, Dior Sauvage scent to it. Uh, another look, and then you have to show splash the alcohol version. Um, all really good, and that was the show for today. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. That is fantastic. I can feel the slickness already in that after show. It's going to be really smooth. So lovely stuff. Definitely worth a try if you've not tried it. So. If you liked the, the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, it would really help me out, and uh, hopefully see you guys soon on the next one.